Jessica, what stood out uh, to you from that meeting between Angela Merkel and Sebastian Kurz? Well, Angela Merkel and Sebastian Kurz used to be on opposing sides when it came to the issue of migration. But I think the fact that we saw them yesterday evening more or less in agreement in Berlin is a real sign that Angela Merkel is towing the line of the more hardliners like Sebastian Kurz when it comes to the issue of migration in Europe. Now, uh, we heard both leaders pledging support to uh, Jean-Claude Juncker's idea to boost up the capacities um, of Frontex, the external border uh, control guard, uh, an, an agency controlling the EU's external borders um, and this is something that Angela Merkel has had to be convinced about but uh, but it's something that they were both in agreement about yesterday and it shows a real uh, willingness of control for, from uh, European leaders control over how many migrants are coming into Europe and who exactly is going to come and this is a, the issue of control is something that Angela Merkel really needs to show that she's getting back on the issue of migration we saw this issue in Germany threatening to tear apart her government before the summer and in recent weeks we've seen the issue of migration migration play out on the streets of predominantly eastern towns and cities of Germany in very violent clashes between far left and far right wing groups. And uh, leaders such as Sebastian Kurz and also leaders of the Visegrad countries in Eastern Europe and the leader of Italy have also threatened to cut off their internal borders within Europe if Angela Merkel did not get on board for a more pan-European hardline response on migration. And so uh, Angela Merkel really was uh, forced to bend to their demands because for the German Chancellor, the freedom of movement within the Schengen zone is something that is really sacrosanct. And the idea to beef up the, uh, the, the border control of Europe is a pan-European response. And this is something Angela Merkel has been calling for for a long time. It may not have full consensus, but it certainly has broad support. Jessica, Angela Merkel is in Algeria today, an important transit country for migrants by boat heading to Europe. Uh, briefly, what can we expect? Well, I think the line from the German government is at the moment was when it comes to migration, it's time to stop talking about Africa and time to start talking with Africa. We saw Angela Merkel travel to Nigeria at the end of last month to talk there about the issue of migration and trying to stop the causes of people wanting to flee Africa. And I think we'll see something similar in Algeria today. And as you said, Algeria is an important transit country also for migrants coming from different countries wanting to uh, go across the, the, the Mediterranean into Europe. And this is something that will also be discussed. Um, the German government has identified Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia as so-called safe countries of origin for migrants arriving from these countries into Europe to be deported to. And this is a de deportation process they would like to see sped up. But of course, Angela Merkel needs those countries on side for this. And this is something that I think will be really uh, the, the talks will focus on today in Algeria.